If you've got those three basics in your bag, then the mental game is the rest of golf, okay? And, you know, the only way that we're going to shoot really good scores is to have fun. I like that clear key concept of letting the um, subconscious, because I know that's be when free. I perform the best. Right. I know that. Right. Um, so the clear the system key itself, is, in order to train your body to allow yourself to do this, uh, the body learns fastest in a 32 increment. So it's where four you're balls. on automatic, and then it's four shots where you're on the clear keys, and then four where you're on automatic, and four where you're on clear keys. Okay? And eventually it's going to transfer into your game. And there are people that adapt to it immediately, and then there are people that struggle with it because they have issues. Once you play with it and you can see how freeing this allows you to be, the fun's going to creep in, the exhaustion's going to be gone. 18 holes will feel like you've just played a few, and you'll be refreshed and ready to go for another round. Because you played without stress. So we're going to draw a line, and, and my line is once I, over here is where we do all of our pre-shot routine. Okay, this is where we do our deliberate practice swing. And we figure out, you got your caddy behind you that points out your little spot out there. You have to point it out for yourself, okay? Then my routine is three steps into the ball. But as soon as I cross this line, I'm going into automatic. I tell my body I'm going into automatic before I step over the line. And then I say, why does Hawaii have interstate highways? Why does Hawaii have interstate highways? Why does Hawaii have interstate highways? So I think all of that, you know, is going to start to help you you know, approach golf and we turn light. on top of the ball and we turn back on top of the ball and turn through on top of the ball and then finally once the ball is gone we finish posted up on our left leg. Balance. Seems like less room for error. It makes perfect sense. Really. Right, right. Well if we can turn on top of the ball we can predict where our low point is. Okay? As long as we don't shorten mm -hmm. or get lower or taller. Okay? So, um, Turning on top of the ball. Right. Right. So, do you see what deliberate practice does for you? I just went through my pivot perfectly, and then the brain knew that's what I wanted for the shot. Okay. Um, and so, these haphazard practice swings just warm up our waste of effort.